Hello everyone, my name is Hendo and today we're going to look at remanufacturing an HP CB540A. It's used in the HP LaserJet CP1215 or CM1312. It's a color laser cartridge, this happens to be the black one and this is not an introductory cartridge, this is just a regular yield cartridge. Okay, we're going to start off remanufacturing this cartridge right now. So first we're going to remove these screws here, this screw here, this screw here, and these two screws here. This screw here, and this screw here to remove these end plates. I'm going to do that right now. And now we're going to remove the end plates themselves. There's one end plate. There's the other end plate. And I'm keeping the orientation this way so the wiper blade inside the cartridge is pointing upwards. So right now I'm going to tip it over and take it apart. This is the hopper side. I'm going to put it aside and this is the waste hopper side okay so I'm going to remove the drum and dispose of it next we're going to remove the PCR just going to get a facial swab with some alcohol on it to clean down the contacts on the PCR itself there's the PCR there. This PCR looks in good condition so I'm going to reuse it. I'm going to put it aside. And we're going to remove the wiper blade. There's the wiper blade there. I'm going to reuse this wiper blade, so I'm going to clean it down. I use a yellow toner cloth, but I don't touch the rubber portion of the blade with the cloth. I'm going to clean down the rubber portion with a little bit of alcohol and a facial swab. and put it up for now. Okay, I'm going to clean out the waste hopper side. Just going to take a vacuum. And I'm going to proceed to clean the rest of the cartridge on the waste hopper side using just a alcohol on a Q-tip. I'm going to clean the PCR cradles and the actual drum cradles themselves. and I'm going to clean the recovery blade underneath as well ok 
Okay, that's pretty well done. I'm going to take a look over at the felts here, making sure the recover blade is on top of the wiper blade felt on both sides, down here as well. Looks okay, and the actual felts themselves look okay. That's one felt there, that's the other felt there. Looks fine, looks overall pretty clean. I'm going to start getting the wiper blade ready. Gonna take some blue coating. Put a little bit on a facial swab. And coat the wiper blade blade itself. And wipe it off. There's the blade. Then I'm going to dip it in some M powder. Okay, and that's what the blade looks like after being dipped. I'm going to wipe some of that off as well. Okay. Next, we're going to clean the PCR. Going to get some water. And actually some red solution from TG Technologies for PCRs. Just a small amount. I'm going to clean the PCR with water first. And while it's wet, put the red so the red uh, solution on it. Making sure I coat every part of the PCR. Now I'm just going to remove it. looks basically brand new now I'm going to prep up the waist side first thing we're going to do is put some grease on it And then we're going to grease the inside part of the PCR white contact, the non-conductive side. Then we're going to use some conductive grease on the conductive side PCR cradle. Okay. Now I'll reinstall the wiper blade. Okay, 
OK. And reinstall the PCR in a second here. Okay, I'm going to put the waste hopper, the waste side uh, uh, aside for now, and then work on the hopper side. Okay, this is the hopper side. We're going to dismantle it right now. So I'm going to start by taking off this end, then this end. So we're going to remove the screws. There's one screw on each side. <clears throat> Screw on the other side here. And then lastly, we're going to remove this last screw inside here to remove this whole section. Be careful you don't lose this spring. It actually controls this trigger here. Okay, we're just going to lift out the development roller. And clean it as well with some alcohol. The uh, ends itself. I'm going to put it aside for now. Okay, and all the parts here are going to go into the parts cleaner itself. Now we're going to remove the doctor blade, these two screws here, okay? side for a second and that's how you disassemble the waste hopper section of this cartridge. <laughs> 